Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to this player review with me, Boy FIFA One HD. We'll be taking a look at the team of the season, 89 rated Haller. Now, before we do, as always, if you enjoy the video, hit that like button and the subscribe button, as that will really help me out. And also, if you have any questions or comments, leave all of that in the comments below, as I love reading what you guys have to say. So, we've seen the team that we used him in, and we've also seen the position that we played him in. And now we're going to have a look at his attribute details. And as you can see, he's an interesting striker. Obviously, he has incredible strength there at 99 very good aerially with heading accuracy and jumping both in the 90s good stamina too he's not the fastest he actually has really good sprint speed funnily enough but his acceleration does leave a lot to be desired for and he is quite you know sort of sluggish both in terms of his movement speed and his agility and balance as you can see but decent with the ball at his feet obviously he does have that strength He's got good ball control and dribbling. Composure would be nice if that was a little bit higher, but overall not a bad stat for a big man. Vision and short passing is incredible. You could definitely use this guy at cam if you wanted to. He would do a decent job at playing people in because of that vision and short passing. In terms of his shooting though, that is where you want to take advantage of because 92 attack positioning with 92 finishing and 90 shot power is incredible. This guy, when he gets a chance, he is going to bury it with incredible accuracy and incredible shot power it is a shame his long shots aren't better especially for a slower player but they can be upped with the right chemistry style of course volleys and penalties also very very high so we've seen the attribute details now let's have a look at some in-game footage and hear what i thought about him so my thoughts on the 89 rated Haller whether he was okay he was a good decent card he scored me some goals but he didn't really feel too amazing and I suppose that is probably why he's not the most expensive player you know considering he has an incredible rating and some really nice stats you can pick this guy up for between sort of 70 and 80k you know maybe a little bit more at times but overall for around that 80k mark an 89 rated player with some very usable stats plays in the Bundesliga is French so you get you know sort of really good ways of putting him into your team whether it's a hybrid or just a straight Bundesliga team he's usable he's got that hold up play element to his game which he does very very well aerially he's fantastic will win tons of flick-ons will win lots and lots of opportunities at corners which is always a good thing always makes him dangerous and provides another way to score his hold up play is also very very good because he does have that good ball control and dribbling and he also has that incredible strength so no matter whether it's van dyke sol campbell or anyone else like that who are trying to nip the ball off him he can hold them off he can bring others into play because he also has really good vision and passing. His short passing is exceptional, great for one-twos, but also for playing his teammates in. So he can rack up a few assists, which is maybe an unexpected gem of a little attribute on this card. I found it to be pretty usable. While I didn't actually get too many assists with him in the short time that I had him, he was pretty decent and I did notice that his passing was very usable. Where he really excels, of course, is his shooting. He is an exceptionally accurate striker, very deadly inside the box. From distance, he does leave a little bit to be desired. Obviously, he doesn't have the pace, so that is an issue. And he also doesn't really have the long shooting ability, although his shot power does more than make up for it on occasion. But anything in and around the box, he is very lethal. He's got very good movement, so he can get himself into those areas to get on the end of crosses, through balls however it comes to him he can definitely use it swivel get his shot away and he proves to be a very very usable player the one thing that really does let him down however is the fact that he only has a two star weak foot it is noticeable at times obviously the fact that he doesn't have the long shooting and he has that two star weak foot means that unless the chance is really right for him he probably will just about hit the target rather than blast it past the goalkeeper don't get me wrong, when it's on his right foot, you know, in the right area, on his right foot, he will bury it. However, he's just not that overall accomplished for me to really recommend him. He's a usable player. He doesn't quite feel like an 89 rated player, in my opinion. More like 86, 87 at a push. I wouldn't recommend him. I think there are better options out there. But if you do like a big, tall hold-up player, he'll definitely do you a job. That's why I've given him an 8.3 out of 10. He is cheap. He is pretty decent in certain areas, but overall, not one that I would recommend. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and peace.